Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're diving into a head-to-head -head comparison of two of the most popular Linux distros out there, Ubuntu versus Arch Linux. Um, if you've ever wondered which one is better for you, then you're in the right place. So let's get into it. Take a deep breath and let's go. All right, so first up, targeted users. Ubuntu is like that friend who's always got your back. Set up for you right out of the box. It's perfect if you just want a hassle-free, pre-configured system. You know, you install it and everything just works. Now, Arch Linux, on the other hand, is for the tinkerers, the DIY enthusiasts who love to customize everything. With Art, you're given the freedom to build your system exactly the way you want, but um, that freedom comes with a learning curve. So if you're new to Linux, that might feel a bit overwhelming. Let's talk about installation. Ubuntu makes it super simple with a GUI installer. You literally click through and boom, you're done. It's as straightforward as it gets. Arch Linux, however, mostly uses the terminal for installation. Sure, they've added a guided installer recently, but it still requires a bit more know-how. So if you're looking for ease and convenience, Ubuntu definitely takes the lead here. Moving on to the desktop experience, Ubuntu offers a customized GNOME experience that's all about convenience and productivity. It's designed with the everyday user in mind, so you get a consistent look and feel without any extra fuss. Arch Linux, well, that's more about flexibility. You can choose from a variety of desktop environments, be it GNOME, KDE Plasma, or even window tiling managers. But remember with Arch, the experience largely depends on how you set it up. So if you're all about personalization and control, Arch might be your jam. Now let's quickly touch on the file system. Ubuntu sticks with X4, which is super reliable and meets all your modern computing needs. Arch, on the other hand, gives you options. You can choose BTRF, XT4, XFS or even F2Fs. That's cool if you know exactly what benefits you need from your file system, but um, if you're not sure, XT4 is a safe bet. What about the app ecosystem? Ubuntu comes with a wide range of applications right out of the box, thanks to its massive community and support from developers. You've got access to the official repositories, PPAs, and even Snap integration. Arch Linux, meanwhile, uses Pacman and its huge AUR repository to give you like access to even more packages. But remember, some developers might not officially support Art, so sometimes you'll need to do a bit of extra work. Here's an interesting point, minimal versus bloat experience. With Ubuntu, you get a lot of tools pre-installed, great for convenience, but some might see it as bloat. Arch Linux lets you install just what you need keeping your system super lean. It really comes down to personal preference. Do you want everything set up for you or do you prefer a minimal custom build? Next, let's look at the freedom to choose versus restrictions. Arch Linux really shines here. You have the freedom to customize almost every aspect of your system, from choosing your audio server, Pulse Audio or Pipewire, to selecting your specific Linux kernel variant, it's all in your hands. Ubuntu, on the other hand, sticks with what's been thoroughly tested. It's less flexible, but it's also more stable and predictable. And speaking of stability, let's talk about community support and stability. Ubuntu's vast user base means you've got tons of forums, guides, and community help if you run into issues. It's a solid choice if you need something reliable for everyday use. E Arch Linux doesn't have as massive a community support network in that sense, but its documentation, especially the Arch Wiki, is second to none. Just keep in mind with Arch, you might need to roll up your sleeves to maintain stability, especially after updates. Before we wrap up, a quick word on release schedules and hardware compatibility. Ubuntu offers long-term support LTS releases that are perfect if you want a stable system with minimal surprises. Arch, meanwhile, is rolling release, so you're always on the cutting edge but that can sometimes lead to unexpected issues. And when it comes to hardware, the booster Ubuntu has been tested on a wide range of systems, while Arch might need a little extra research to ensure everything works perfectly. So final thoughts, what should you pick? If you're after a stable, ready-to-go experience without a lot of setup, Ubuntu is your best bet. But if you're craving the freedom to truly make your system your own, 
and you don't mind a bit of a challenge, then Arch Linux could be the perfect playground for you. All right, that's it for today's video. Um, uh, let me know in the comments what you think. Are you team Ubuntu or team Arch? And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more tech insights team, and ring that notification bell so you never miss an update. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.